Winter is over, but the snowflakes are still flying and highly agitated. Where? At UC Merced, which if you want to go visit them in all of their natural splendor, the snowflakes are inhabiting in great number just east of San Jose and San Francisco. And according to Liz Wolf of Reason Magazine, the snowflakes are going crazy there because recently the college Republican group there staged a little mini protest and they made signs that said ice ice baby referring of course to the immigration customs enforcement agency and the wonderful song by vanilla ice So the college administration decided that in all their PC glory they would issue a response to this saying that they of course support the concept of free speech but they don't like the bigoted and hateful comments coming from the college Republicans. What a nice left-handed way to support free speech, huh? That's right. Offer something that is potentially defamatory towards the college Republicans. Listen, to call them bigoted, that's quite a stretch, okay? But evidently, these PC moves by the administration weren't enough with the snowflakes in the student legislature because they decided they would take it a step farther. Yes, they issued their own statements and they're trying to take action. Yes, the folks in the University of Merced who are in the student legislature literally are saying that what these people did by posting in some cases the phone number of the Immigration Customs Enforcement Agency on their posters was direct endangerment of some illegal immigrants honestly. And they're going even farther than that. Now, the legislature is getting together to propose no longer supporting any political groups on campus with any college funds. And this is the essence of why I wanted to talk to you about this issue. This is not really about immigration. This is about speech, free speech, and the fact that these left-wing snowflakes can't even recognize as they get all agitated and harangue about the fact that they don't want their money going towards some political organization that they don't support, they don't even realize that the very paradigm of college publicly funded through taxation is exactly this. Almost every decision that is made in the University of California college system is supported by tax money. This is forcibly taken from people. These students, if they don't want their college dues to go towards some political organization, they don't have to go to school there. And yes, if they want to change their prerogatives regarding about where those dues go, perfectly fine. But to miss the larger point and be hypocritical, as they go to a college which is subsidized by taxpayers who may have their money taken from them regardless of whether they agree or disagree with the actual substance and policies which are political because it's done through the polis that are promoted through the California University system, to not recognize that even as they explode over what these folks did with their ice ice posters is really stunning and it just goes to show us how hypocritical leftists can often be they say they're all in favor of free speech and yet they want your tax money taken to favor the things they want to favor they say they're all in favor of free speech until somebody says something that they can depict as evil and malign just because it doesn't support their great march towards their collectivist utopian future the larger point here is not about the immigration debate. It's about the polis itself and whether or not leftists who support things always being decided through taxation and government will recognize that the very things that bother them within that little pocket of the University of California at Merced are actually amplified and instituted every day through the force of government. I don't think they're going to get it. Words of wisdom. For MRC-TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.